Okay, this little segment is about making your terminal more like putty. Now, if you if you were kind of on the outside looking in r with respect to Linux, if you were using Windows and then connecting to Linux through SSH, this will sound familiar. You used a little terminal to connect to your Linux machine, and it looked just like this, only probably <laughs> with less color. And then to to put something into your copy buffer, you just highlighted it, and it was just there. Uh, now, it, it would look, and then to paste it in, you right-click. Well, when you right-click in GNOME Terminal, you get, you get a whole context menu. When you try and paste... <laughs> oh, man. So, <laughs> I'm not fond of Intel anymore. Their graphics chips are being sabotaged, by the way, in my opinion. So, if you have the opportunity to buy a new laptop, go with an AMD-based laptop. Don't, don't do Intel. Um, uh, especially if you're going to stick with the integrated graphics chip. Um, that being said, <sighs> where were we? All right, so we want it to be like putty because that was really fast. You just hit here and then you just paste it in. Well, you have that right now. Anytime you highlight something, that's in one of your copy buffers. There's two copy buffers that I know about. <laughs> there might be millions. Um, but there's two copy buffers that I know about. So highlight this, and then to paste what you've highlighted, middle click. Very awesome, very cool. How snazzy is that? And of course, that isn't going to interfere with what's still in your, your real copy buffer, unless you paste that in. But, but yeah, that's that's a good quick thing. I to to know about the terminal. Any other terminal tr tricks that I know about? Control Shift T opens up a new terminal tab. I I don't see that being too helpful, but you know, uh, it's pretty cool. And and yeah, I think we can pretty much close it off there. All right, to switch to root, type S U and then put in your password, and then you'll get. Uh, hold on. And then you'll get a very scary looking prompt. And it's just trying to remind you, okay, you're seriously the Kentos of NV54 dash series. Okay. PWD. I don't know what that's going to do. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Sorry, passwords don't match. Anyway, um,. You could change other people's passwords from in there and do all kinds of stuff. Um, this has gone over. I hope I edit this to make it shorter. But that's all there is to the terminal.